Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Hulu user interface. Now they originally announced that they will launch this new interface back in May 20th during their promotion spree to celebrate the Disney bundle. And this new user interface is going to look kind of like um, Disney Plus and ESPN Plus. So let's take a look at this and see what it has to offer. Now, as soon as you launch it, it's going to look kind of same as it used to when you launch it. It has the regular login uh, profiles, but when you click on it, it's going to launch you into this brand new user interface. And it looks pretty much the same as any standard user interface you would use in a streaming service like Amazon or Netflix. It has, first of all, at the top, it has the so. The main show that Hulu is promoting that you can watch anytime. As soon as you come down, you can take a look at the TV for you and movie for you. Now, as you can see, depending on when you scroll up or down, um, Hulu would change the thumbnail of the show. You know, maybe if they find this so important for you to watch, they'll promote it um, with a bigger title. If Hulu finds a show that maybe you might not be interested in, it will shrink that tile. So just keep that noted. So first areas you have TV for you and movies for you. In the next area, you have the main um, show Hulu really wants you to check out. So you know it basically take out almost the whole part of the screen, kind of like with Netflix, I believe. From there, you can view more details about the movie that you're about to watch. And it looks kind of the same as the old user interface for viewing details about the show and movie. And of course, you can come down and view more shows that you might like that are similar to a particular show. From there, you can go back and you can check out more categories on the home screen. And because of the fact that um, the user interface launched for me at the same time as the 2020 Emmys, they have... Um, details about the shows that were nominated for the Emmys in that particular section. Next, as we scroll down, you can check out Hulu Pick, so you can check out all the shows and movies who recommends you joy. And then you can view more shows like reality TV shows. And on some categories, as you scroll all the way to the end, you can view more shows related to what you see in that particular category. And then if you come down, you can check out Hulu Originals. That's why Hulu has the titles bigger there. And they also have the same thing for FX on Hulu. Because they really want to promote those shows. So that's why they're making it bigger. And then you can scroll down some more. And check out more TV shows. And unlike the old user interface with Hulu. Where, you know, you scroll left or right for the categories. And then you scroll up and down for the shows. Now, if you want to check out the shows, you can scroll... Um, left or right for them and if you want to check out the categories you have to scroll up and down for it so if you want to get back to the top of the page you just hit the back button and it'll take you back to um, the top of the screen next if we go to the tv show section it has a new interface as well at the top you can check out all the genres of the tv shows you can check out there and if you go down you can check out all the popular shows that people are watching on hulu and if you go down, you can check out another For You section. And then you can check out all of the user categories. Some of them I already showed you in the particular home screen. If you go to the movie section, it basically has the same thing, just for movies. Next, we have a new feature on the user interface called Hubs. And at the top, you can check out content that is streaming exclusively on Hulu, like a version of Soul. So if you go there, you can check out Souls For You. And then if we go down, you can check out new release content, popular content, dramas, and more categories. And then if we go to the bottom, you can check out all of the shows in alphabetical order. You can do the same thing on FX for Hulu. So you have featured, popular, and other shows here that are on FX for Hulu. And if you go to the bottom, you can check out the same thing, all shows on A to Z, and if we go back, you can check out your network um, shows, like shows from Disney, ABC, Fox, and more, like from Viacom, CBS, 
um, NBC and more. And if we check out so on network like ABC, you can check out basically the same categories, but just shows from the network. And if we go to the settings, it looks kind of the same as the old user interface. So just keep that noted, nothing changed there. And if we go um, back, we can go to the search and same thing as well with the search interface, it looks the same as the old one. You can search for a show here and it'll pop right up on the search results. If we go back to the home screen, if you are in the middle of watching a particular show, this is the Infinite Watch. If you go down, the first thing you see on the home screen instead of TV for you is keep watching. So you can check out um, shows that you didn't finish watch. And if you stay on a particular show, it'll change thumbnails so you can see which episode you was watching. So just keep that noted. And if you go down one more time, you can check out other shows that you add it to your my stuff but you did not watch yet it will put that below um the movies for you section so just keep that noted as well so this new user interface rolled out to apple tv os and some roku devices a couple months ago but now it looks like it's going to be rolling out to all devices like it rolled out to my Roku today. So in order to make so you know more about the Hulu user interface, Hulu made a video to tell you more about it that you can check out as soon as you launch the new home screen for the first time on your device. So this is just a smaller glimpse of what the video looks like. I'm not gonna play too much because I do not want any copyright infringement notice. So that's a look at what the new Hulu user interface looks like. Let me know in the comments if you received the update and if you enjoy it. Hopefully you got the most out of your work experience through this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.